Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So today in this video, I wanted to talk about how many days a week should you ideally intermittent fast? Because there is a specific YouTuber out there known as Thomas DeLauer and various other people as well that say you don't need to intermittent fast every single day. And I wanted to share my own personal opinion on this. And I do recommend that people intermittent fast every single day because why would you not want to get all of the benefits from daily intermittent fasting because obviously if you're not doing it every single day you're not going to get all of the amazing benefits such as it increasing the production of certain hormones known as human growth hormone testosterone glucagon which is a fat burning hormone lowering insulin which is a fat storage hormone improving insulin sensitivity inducing an effect known as autophagy in the body which is amazing for giving you the best health holistically and maximizing your lifespan and a whole host of other benefits as well so this is why i recommend to people that you do every single day and why I choose to do it every single day and if you think about it if you're someone that just does intermittent fasting five days a week that's two times a week that you're not going to get the benefits from it and then over a month that's eight times a month that you're not getting the benefits from daily intermittent fasting and over a whole entire year that's 96 days in total so that's a lot of days to not be intermittent fasting for. So if you're someone that's doing daily intermittent fasting and you wanna get the greatest weight loss benefits from it, that's 96 days we are not gonna be getting all of those amazing weight loss benefits. So it's obviously gonna slow down your progress. We've given you the best weight loss benefits in the shortest period of time. So as you can see, if you wanna get the greatest weight loss benefits, it makes sense to daily intermittent fast rather than just doing it a few times a week. And then if you're someone that wants to get all the amazing maximum life span benefits from it and all of the hormonal benefits that help optimize your health holistically and give you the best energy levels, then it just makes sense to do it every single day. And for me, once I got in, to daily intermittent fasting, it just feels completely natural and right for me to intermittent fast every single day. Some days I will fast longer than other days, but I normally fast for around 16 hours a day, anywhere up to around 24 hours, sometimes even 25 hours, but normally it's around 18 to 21 hours for me. So I think that's the best thing to do with daily intermittent fasting, is listen to your body every single day like I do, and if it feels that your body wants to naturally go in the direction of fasting longer within a day with daily intermittent fasting, then do that. But if it feels that your body just wants to fast for a short period of time, then do that. But I would always recommend trying to at least daily intermittent fast for a minimum of 16 hours. And if you're someone that wants to get even greater benefits from it and you feel naturally drawn to do so, then you could do one meal a day where you fast for around 23 hours a day. And if you're someone that doesn't know how to do daily intermittent fasting in the most safe and effective way for you to get the greatest benefits from it, I have a video called How to Do Intermittent Fasting for Serious Weight Loss, the complete guide. And if you haven't seen that, I put a link for it up above. But if you're someone that wants to push it even further and start doing one meal a day and you want to learn how to eat one meal a day and make it work the best for you so you can sustain it short term and long term and get the best benefits from it, I put my how to eat one meal a day diet video link up above now so you can go and check that out if you are interested in that video. And also something I'd like to add on to my own personal experiences, eating breakfast just doesn't program in my mind anymore after not eating it for so long it's just not something that I desire whatsoever and if I was to eat in the morning I know it would just slow down my energy because rather than my body resting from digesting food and saving all that energy so I can have an abundance of energy throughout the day instead it's using a lot of energy to digest food in the morning and I just love not eating in the morning as well because it just gives me so much more free time to focus upon other more important things in life so that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them down below and I get back to you as soon as possible and if there's any types of videos you'd like me to make on intermittent fasting let me know down below and I'll make them for you as soon as possible and if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up if you don't give us a thumbs down and please share this video of anyone else that you think would love to hear about my own thoughts on whether you should daily intermittent fast or not and if you haven't already click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more intermittent fasting videos from me on a regular basis and the other type of videos you can expect to get from me are one meal a day informational videos calisthenics workout and progression videos weight 
loss videos, what I eat in a day and do in a day videos, and other different types of videos to help you learn the right information to go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body that you desire and the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.